Okay, thanks. Uh, Mahir is my name. Uh, just wondering about uh, any any interlinkage between uh, crypto transactions and uh, the stock market. Uh, what is one question? And the second one is a uh, crypto uh, energy utilization and carbon trading. Is there any carbon, carbon trading? Yeah. Can we just uh, exchange uh, energy for mining and uh, 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 release carbon in uh, in place of it? Sure. So with the first question, um, stock market, is there any correlation? I, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, just purely from a price perspective, I, I know that, you know, when the stock market drops 5%, you know, NASDAQ, NYSE, X, Y, and Z, Bitcoin also drops. But that's probably just, you know, there are always traders in the system, right? Um, Wall Street's like with Chalut, they're willing to buy and sell without any thought process to what they're buying or selling, right? They're just trying to make small amount of money, right? So the same traders that exist on Wall Street, the traditional stock market, also exist with Bitcoin. So that's the only correlation I see. Again, there's no you know, direct kind of linkage between Bitcoin and, and the fiat or, or kind of the, the legacy world. Um, if anything, there's kind of a, uh, an opposite relationship, right? So um, you know, because these banks haven't been doing well by us, right? Uh, you know, uh, Max Kaiser and Ibal Sahabi Allah, you know, he says the business model of banks is, you know, uh, keeping nine out of ten dollars that they steal, right? So you can make that conclusion that the JP Morgans, that the city banks, that the Wells Fargo's, they steal money. And, and they do this in a very clever way where they use existing laws, they, they use collusion with, you know, congressmen and women. And, you know, when their, uh, you know, moral capacity is, is stretched and they fail, they get a bailout, right? And, you know, when they are hit with fines, their fines never really, you know, account or amount to much. So I would say that the cause or the, the relationship is, is opposite. Um, you know, I, I think a lot of these banks they'll have to adopt Bitcoin. Uh, they'll have to integrate Bitcoin. We'll go from there. Uh, the second question was on carbon trading. I don't know. I'm, 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 uh, I, this is something I don't know much about, um, how kind of the environmentalist value uh, carbon and carbon trading. Uh, I, have a th I have a problem with um, authority, right, telling me what carbon is worth, um, especially when uh, those authorities don't leave seats at the table for countries like Ethiopia. Uh, so I have a hard time following rules that I weren't a part of building, right? And so carbon trading is an interesting subject. Um, I think we'll have less of, of those intermediaries, right? Because carbon trading requires either a state or an organization or a company to come in and to start valuing what an organization or what a country is expelling in carbon, right? And if anything, I see carbon as a beautiful thing, right? I see producing energy and using energy as an amazing thing. Ethiopia needs more energy, right? Only 25% of our people have access to smartphones and, and you know, internet penetration. So we need infrastructure, roads, uh, telecom, electricity. All of that's going to require carbon, and that's amazing. Um, because the opposite of that is remaining in poverty, <laughs> you know? And so I think, you know, I, I'm, I'm coming to this thesis that poverty is, you know, man-made. I mean, I, I genuinely believe that left to our own devices, you know, people should be prosperous, right? You know, I really feel as though assets should accumulate on themselves. My energy, my work should stay still. It shouldn't, you know, be, be hit. So energy, we need to produce more energy, and uh, and that's my conclusion. <laughs> but we'll okay. see. Thank you. Uh, we have one question over here. 